So friends, welcome to SQL problem solving series. I have the, for this video a kind of medium level problem. So you can see the problem says generate the following two result sets. So we need to generate two result sets. You can see they are the different kind of result set. In short, if I could say what is the result set we want. So you can see we have two different columns here. One column is name, one column is occupation. And we need to generate two different kind of outputs. So the very first output you can see I will try to get the name and I would try to get the occupation occupation whatever is the occupation of this particular person into parenthesis or the brackets and kind of output which i want is how many number of doctors are there in particular database how many number of professors or the distinct occupation is present into this database for example there are total of two doctors there are total of two singers similarly likewise for the other professions as well or this similarly for the other occupations as well we want into the output it told us how to go on writing the output so we want to get the occupation count here like how many actors are there singers are there and the occupation name with a s at the very last so friends let us continue writing the for the very first case we'll try to get this particular output here whatever is present here we need to order our query for example into this by the name of that particular person so let us start writing the query so very first thing we'll be writing is the select and we'll be using the concat function here to concatenate the name as well as the profession's very first word so we'll be using the concat concat function here so what will be concatenating so we'll be concatenating the name and then we'll be having this particular the opening bracket here and after the opening bracket i would try to get from the left side of the occupation i would try to get the very first character from the occupation of that particular person so i'll be writing one year and then after this i'll be closing my bracket and from where which is the table name i want to get this so i want to get this from the occupations table name and also at the last i want to order this by the name let us run the query and let us see what is the output which is coming out you can see we have got the kind of correct output whatever we want but there are two cases sorted out the very first cases also we need to order this by name which we have also applied so this our very first query is completed now moving forward to the second number query so we want the count of the number of professionals like the number of doctors singers actors into our database here so definitely you must have got an idea like what we will be using here we will be using the count function here so we'll be writing here select and here also we'll be doing a concat so what do we want to concat so we'll be writing exactly what they mentioned so there are a total of and after the comma we want the count of the number of profession so we'll be counting the occupation to this we need a space and at the last i want to get the occupation name and from where do we want to get this we want to get this from occupations and you can see if you'll be noticing we want to add a s and a dot here or the full stop here at the very last so we will also be need to add this particular thing also let us continue with the query so this is from occupations and at the last order by we need to sort this order by count of occupation and then the occupation group by function here so i'll be using the group by function to group by onto the basis of the occupation okay if you're not using the group by function how would the count function work so maybe you need to add the group function here you can see every occupation starting with a capital letter so and into the output you can see the very first letter is in small so i would need to add the lower thing here and let us run the query again and let us see if we are fulfilling every condition now you can see finally we have got our output and friends so into this we use a lot of different kind of functions formulas the group by condition the count function so i hope you had liked this particular video do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis meet you in the next video thank you so much bye